Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to BWTM Sports. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Get ready to like, hit the like button, and of course, leave your comments in the comment section. Tonight, we're talking to the man from Sheffield, the challenger for the Commonwealth middleweight title, Liam Cameron. Liam, how are you? Good, mate, and soon to be Commonwealth champion as well. So, for those people who don't know who Liam Cameron is, give us a little overview as to who you are, Liam. I'm just a lad from Sheffield there, and was trying his best to win this title. That's that's what I am. But, uh, just working hard, mate, uh, like as all us fighters do, to be fair. So, tell us a bit more about who you are in terms of your record. I'm um, of a 24-19 or 20-25-121 20, of them ones. Um, don't really like the loss bit. Um, but obviously, I've, I've learned from losses, which you can lose. As long as you're learning, do you know what I mean? Eventually, you're going to get it. Eventually, keep tweaking, keep tweaking. And now it's my time, do you know what I mean? I'm, done. I'm doing everything possible. I'm out here in Scotland training, do you know what I mean? So, we'll see. The, the champion, Sam Sheedy, has had a lot to say about you, but we won't go on about that at the moment. Let's talk about... Who you are, what what you've done as an amateur first and foremost. Um, the kid what beat Sam Sheedy for the British title, I smashed him to bits with um, ten ounce gloves on and egg guards. I think we were, it were, we were eighteen, nineteen year old, and you don't your chin don't get weaker at this age. And I ate him, and he were he were gone. Do you know what I mean? Two or three times in fight. I know they're saying it's amateur. Yep. I didn't need 12 rounds to dispose of him. I only needed three rounds. And that's the that's the tale of it with 10 ounce gloves on. Sma smashed him. So that was that one person. Um, you're talking about... Talk I won I I ABAs, yeah. I beat Tommy Langford. But I won the ABAs and British Championships. And that's me, really. Um, Box Callum Smith as an amateur twice. How did that go? Count back, very two very close fights, which I, which I lost. One, I hundred percent thought I won. Callum would say the same, but um, they were very close fights. You know what I mean? He, he were he were tall and dangly then when I boxed him. Okay, uh, in terms of Callum Smith, while you're there, at the second we'll talk about him. What's he like um, durability wise and and heart? And what's he like when he's in a tough fight? Has he got heart and guts? Will he dig dig in? He's very good inside, you know, when you close him down, he's very good. I sparred him about a year ago as well. I did a couple of six or seven rounds with him. Um, he had a big heater blowing on you. Um, and the 30 seconds recovery time in between sparring. It was a good good spar. I loved it. Um, I, I were injured as well, so, I were, so it weren't me 100%, but it was, he's very good fighter, don't get me wrong. He's, he's going to be very hard to beat him. Durability? Um, yeah, very tough, very, very tough. Um, nothing phases him, to be fair. He just keeps coming on, keeps composed, and just does what he's got to do his job, and he, he's smashing people at the minute. How, how do you fancy him in the Super 8 tournament? I think he'll do well. Uh, I think he'll do well. You never know in boxing. He could meet someone... And it could look, it could look like crap. Do you know what I mean? Uh, look at David Price, who I thought he was going to be unbeatable. That when he first set off, now he's obviously he's getting beat all, all the time. Do you know what I mean? So can't really judge it until he's in that big, big time. So we're going to soon find out about him. Okay. Um, so let's go back to your Chris. You said you you did well in the amateurs. <laughs> Anybody else you fought in the amateurs? You said Langford. You fought. You fought. Um, Callum Anthony Smith. Fowler. Okay. How did that go? Um, I lost again, majority, very close fight again. Um, but I, bo I boxed, I know it's another excuse, I boxed him with a broken hand and I've got records um, boxing him with a broken hand. Uh, I was daft, I was. I used to spar with night guard down and everything. And injuries, it didn't matter back then, I just used to get in and have a good good fight as an amateur and that's, that's what it were about, but he's very good as well. I boxed Scott Cardell, he's okay. another one. How'd you do with him? 10-0. Yeah, 
Yeah. You beat him 10-0. Okay. Yeah. You weren't a very happy, happy chap. <laughs> 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 you didn't like it. Um, Box Dudley off Shauna, sir. Okay. He's another good, good fighter. There's loads of box box Andy Townsend. Okay. Oh, uh, Townsend hits very hard. Yeah, yeah my, but I boxed him at his that way he were. He's actually he's now, I think. Yeah. I think it were. Um, yeah. He's just kept same kid all the way through his career, same size and everything. But I've just shot up like a beanpole. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk a bit more about Liam Cameron, the man. How he got into boxing? Um, my family's done boxing. Um, I weren't really bothered about it. To be fair, I can remember being at bus stop with my mum. Um, and my trainer, now nah, um, Chris Chris Smedler, drove past him. Why don't you come to the gym? So no, I might, I might do. So then uh, next day I just went to gym with him, and ever since then I've loved it. First spar I had, I was, I, 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 I was hurting people, and I just thought, well, this is good. I'm not getting hurt back here. So I, I just loved it. Took off from then. Okay, okay. Talk us a bit about, about Chris Smedley. Have you, so you've known him since you were amateur, right? Yeah, he's he's a he's kind of his family, I mean, it's like family to me. Do you know what I mean? Right. So, so, so he's trained. Um, Go ahead. He's he's trained me since I was like eight year old. Then I had a little spell off. I went to Ingalls. Then I come back and train with Chris and Steve Barnes um, at lower managing. That's where I am at minute. Okay. So, talk to me about the time that you were at Ingalls and what made you come back to Chris. Um. Obviously. Ingles have got their fighters what they've trained from from young Kel Barry this this down over. Um, I just felt I've been with, with the same coach for years. Um, and I've, I boxed absolute. I boxed a kid called Rod Smith, and Dominic will tell you. And um, the man what what well whose house I was staying at, I collapsed after the fight and everything. I was spew, I was spewing up everywhere. And I shouldn't have box. I shouldn't have boxed because of that. I made weight so wrong. Back right then, it was it was scary. I could have got hurt. Um, how much weight I used to take off? I used to eat, eat mad till the day before weighing. Just bath it all off. Like it, like if, like I could think I could do that. Do you know what I mean? Okay. And it's these little learning things what are gonna make me win this Commonwealth. Just stuff like that. And so. Okay. Um, so I just decided to go back to my old coach and make my old roots. Okay, so you've gone back to your coach. You've turned. What made you turn professional then, Liam? Um, obviously, <laughs> Sam Sheed is on about um, oh, Liam's talented. This that, but there's no way I'm talented. Everything I've done is odd. Well, I might look a bit. I might. Because I've won ABAs ooh, ooh, and I've, I've won a few good fights. Who were out before them? Few fights. I've had to work for everything I've ever done in boxing. No one's. Do you know what I mean? I've had, to, I've had to put the miles in, which I do. Talented. There's no such thing. You don't just walk in the gym and you're talented. Do you know what I mean? So, what were question again? I, 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 ta I, I take it you heard. You heard the interview I did yeah, with Sam. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. I, I just. Someone tell me. I don't want to. What I don't want to listen to interview. To be fair, I don't. I just don't want to listen to interview. I don't want to hear what Sam's got to say. He's not. I'm just going to take his head clean off. Uh, do you know what I mean? That's all. What my thing is to take his head off. And I, 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 I will get him. I think we better just talk about the Sam Shee interview because you know we're trying to get the, the back history of you and the, the current and the future is very much in your mind so let's talk about that sam yeah. Shee interview he said um that you're not consistent i, I ain't listened to it to be fair i ain't listened to it to be fair so what only thing i know is he said about his talent uh, i'm talented as i don't work hard so okay well yeah. i'll tell you what he said that's all i know i'll tell you what he said he said that um you know, the thing about your weight, he said he's heard all the excuses about your weight. So can you address the issues yeah. about your weight first and foremost? Right, my weight, okay. 
what I am with my weight, I eat the right food, but far too much of it. Double what you should be having. Double or treble what you should be having. Um, I get on scales every day. As soon as I've lost it, what I used to do, is think, oh, I've lost, I've lost that. Well, I'll eat up now. So that's what I used to do. Now I've got this dietitian, what the Sheffield United's first team, he does hockey players, he's done, he's done loads of boxes. I'm walking about now at 11, 12, 11, 13, strong, very strong. Well, according to Sam Sheedy, that you, you know, you might get on the weight now, but then your head will go, you'll lose, your, you'll lose the plot and basically go and eat out or do something stupid. And then uh, you're back to square one again. Is that what Sam said? That's what Sam said. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm monitored every week by this dietitian. I'm paying, paying money, do you know what I mean? So I can't afford to. Listen, do you, know, do you know, this is my life. If I lose this, no one believes how strong this is to me. Forget the other 20-odd fights I've had. This is the fight. I've got my little my head. Every time I'm training, do you know what I mean? He don't realise what I've got to lose in this fight. If I lose this fight, I'm done. I'm absolutely done. There's no putting the glove on again. And he might say, oh, he's putting extra pressure on. I, I need this pressure. I need it. So you. that's where I am. I've got to win. There's, there's a mission to do, and it's just to win. He says that you're You'll getting see an it. absolute new animal on night. He's an absolute it, animal. It, it, he says. Animal. He says you're a nice kid, but you're getting it. Well, he's gonna say that, isn't he? He's, he's, he's gonna, he's gonna have to keep me, and he's gonna have to give it, give me everything he's got. He can't punch for a start, do you know what I mean? So he keeps saying after every fight, because um, I've watched him, I've watched him there. I've hit him with everything, and he took them shots because <laughs> he can't punch. His last knockout were 2013. Against someone, or oh, 2012, 2013, against someone who I boxed and stopped, who stopped that kid, do you know what I mean? An African, Philip Corte, who I boxed. Yeah. Had about eight losses out of 30 odd fights. Stopped the kid he stopped. So that just shows you, he cannot punch. He's fast, yeah. He, he's probably got one advantage on me. He's probably faster than me, but my timing. Beat speed. What do you make of uh, Sam Sheedy's, Sam Sheedy's last fight? Because I know you, I know you uh, were there. I watched it in bits, you know. Just love watching that eighth round, you know, when it chins him, you know, that long right hand. <laughs> that kid ain't got nowhere near power. Nowhere so, near so you power said you, got. so you said you loved watching C Sheedy go down then. I just loved it when he got it. Obviously, before the fight, I weren't were bothered, but now watching it, it's, 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 it's good. Yeah. He can be he can be hit by a little non-punching welterweight. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Sam said you said that you and him are good mates. He said that, you know, you're a nice guy, but his business is business. You're getting it. You, on the other oh, hand, yeah. are now saying something different. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not respecting some shit. There's, like I said, there's a different animal. Though. I'm not bothered. He's he's potentially gonna mess my life up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's in the he's in the way of my life, and I cannot respect him. I cannot respect him. I don't want to know him. I don't want to know some shit. I, 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 I hate his name. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I know it sounds bad saying that, but this is how much it means to me. Sam Shady, I cannot lose. He talked about your size. He says because you're bigger, don't mean you're better. It just means you're bigger. It don't mean you're better. Yeah, he's, he's probably got a point. Yeah. But do you think you're better? Do you think you're better than Sam Shady? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, I think you give... he's improved. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I think he's improved. But the Andrew Robinson, I thought Andrew Robinson, they were neck and neck. Uh, He's just drew to Adam Jones, a journeyman. This is the things he's... I think he's a bit deluded, Sam. Because, do you know these kids? The, the, that, that last kid who he's boxed, that way, that way, and I'm picked up on. And people couldn't believe he were on the sanction list. They, they eat lottery. Dennis and AJ is an absolute 
great job getting him that far. I had to travel halfway, well, not halfway, across the world to the bottom of bottom of the planet, do you know what I mean? To box for a Commonwealth on myself on myself or one trainer. So that I had to do it that way against the twenty three and oh kid with like twenty knockouts, top three in the world with WBC, that was my Commonwealth title. You're telling me if I didn't box this this African I wouldn't have beaten him. How do you think you would have done against the African? I think I would have stopped him, to be fair. I would have stopped him. So, um, what do you make of the box? Sam, Sam did pick, he picked up after, I think he started boxing, and I think it were, it were winning, but there were no really shots to prefer, do you know? Yeah, yeah. They were just picking, picking, picking. But that one in fight, fair play to him, is good. You've got to think he's Commonwealth champion. No matter how he's won it, I wish I could have boxed African and won it that way, do you know what I mean? So... He only can box who was in front of him, so that, that's it. I've had to do it. So, would you not say some somewhere. some would stop you there and say, Liam, you might be coming across slightly bitter or might be jealous, sort of thing. Sam would say to you. Oh no, no, um, definitely not bitter or jealous. I'm just saying two two things. I've had to I've had to go across across the world for my Commonwealth. This. And he's obviously boxed in Sheffield against an African who won eight, lost four with it and been stopped. That's all I'm saying. I'm not being bitter or anything. It's just the same facts. Like maybe if, if he went to Australia, box Zach Dunn and I, Dennis got me that shot at Bramall Lane. I'd be Commonwealth champion and he'd be, he'd be saying, saying probably. Do you know what I mean? I'm not being bitter. I don't want to come across that or anything. Okay, now I've got to ask the question because I'm getting to know who you are, Liam, but I'm, I'm definitely enjoying this conversation that we're having because it's a, a different take on how I thought I'd hear how you'd come across. And uh, you definitely yeah, amount to see. I'm not normally like this, I'm not normally like this, but I've got, I've, got, I've, got to be, I've got to be an absolute animal now. Do you know what I mean? I've got, I've got to be. I can't be, I can't be a Mr. Nice Guy. I can't be. Because I'm, it's just, it's just going to be devilness. So. I can't have no respect. Uh, what would it mean to you? After, after the fight, I'll shake his hand. Yeah. Give me a hug and that, whatever, do you know what I mean? Have a meal with him, catch up, whatever. But listen, from now till fight, there's nothing. There's nothing there. So, so what, does it, what would it mean to have, at, at the end of the night, hear Sam Sheedy's name be, and still Commonwealth champion? What would that do to you? <laughs> but why would it be over? You're a young man. You're a young man. Why would it be over? Because I've had I've had a couple of shots now. Do you know what I mean? I've had a couple of title shots, and I fell I fell short short by my own daft fault by doing stuff eighty percent right, which I've had to kick up the ass, and now I'm doing a hundred percent right. So. It, it, it absolutely killed me. I won't be better off dead still give me a hug. That, but I just can't see it. I cannot see it. In terms of your physical strength, how much do you think your weight on the night? Because he made a big fuss about, we made a big thing about your weight. Talked about, well, would you make it on the scales? Will you, will, you do, will, you, will you do the weight right? And then come fight night. How much do you think your weight come fight night? I'm gonna do weight right. That's uh, that's no question about it. Um, I'm lighter than now than what I've ever been for years. Do you know what I mean? So I'm a different body frame. I've got more muscle on my body. You look at me, Zach Dunner, and weighing, and you look at me now, six weeks, six week out. This it's a completely different body, threaded. <laughs> so. It's, it's complex. That's we're doing it right and doing it wrong. She um, she also said that when he saw you last, you look frail. Well, does it do you, does it? Can you can you tell um that sort of how someone is? I had a baggy I had a baggy tracksuit on. How can you tell under a tracksuit? I might have yeah probably might have looked frail. But what does that mean? Um, Thomas Ernes, did he look frail? <laughs> Until he hit somebody on the chin. 
That's it. <laughs> but still, uh, I won't mind, I won't mind to do half what he's done. Exactly. So, what do you think you need to do to beat Sam Sheedy on night to become Commonwealth champion? Do what I do best, and me, Liam Cameron, turn up. And that's all what's got to happen. That's that. That's all that's going to happen. I think t- Sam is. I've seen him dig in. Do you know what I mean? I've seen him. Seen him dig in fights. I think I. I, I really think I've too much for him. With my mindset, I've never. I've never been like this towards a fight. With my mindset, I am. Um, it's, it's, it's a different Liam Cameron. So why do you think you were selected? He's got, he's got to prove it wrong, hasn't it? Why do you think you were What's selected? Why do you think they picked Liam Cameron for a first defence? I'm sure, I'm sure I've, I phoned Dennis up and begged him for the fight. Well, that's different. I heard a different story. I heard that you were yeah, offered the fight. Two sides to stories. There's many two sides to stories. Exactly. I heard that you were He's offered. He's obviously the... getting told different. No, yeah. No, I, 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 no. I heard. That... I phoned for the fight. He didn't pick me. Did not pick me. I have a little stuff. What? What Sam Sheedy said. I heard. Let's get out of the fight and stuff. It was the other way around. I heard you were tweet. It was a tweet that was sent to you. And you backed out the fight. You didn't. You didn't want to know. You weren't interested in the fight. You were. You, the rumor was you were skewed. You wanted to swerve Sheedy. Who said that? That's the story I, I heard. Know, I could say. I could say some. I could say stuff. What Sheedy? Like, oh my god! I'm in for it here. Listen. <laughs> this is all a thing. He's gonna get beat. This is. This is all for. This is all for me to become Commonwealth champion. He's gonna prove it wrong at night. So do you, do you? I I I begged I begged Dennis for the fight. I, listen, I, I I had no thoughts of going to middleweight. I went phone to Dennis and he was talking some shader. This yep. is honest truth, but I don't have to lie. Why won't I? Why won't I fight for another Commonwealth? Why would I swear shader when I've gone to Australia on myself basically? To box world number WBC number three at the time and WBO every top five organization. Why would I swear she did but fight him for the same belt? Don't make sense, does it? No, it doesn't make sense. Exactly, that's the fact. So why would I swear? I won't. I won't phone to Dennis. So when I'm coming back down to middleweight. To f- get me, can you get me Sheedy fight? And he went, he just said it, they're looking in for trying to look for bigger fights, but obviously we'll ask. And that's it, boom, they were on. Then he pulled out um, because he, he, he had a rib injury or something. So that's a, that's another, obviously, his rib's still going to be quite sore in it as well. <laughs> So wait, I heard some. You, did you did you mention something about you weren't sure about the injury or something was said that you you said you didn't see no medical report? Did you say that? Yeah, there's yeah, there's been no medical report apparently of why his injury um, with, with my trainer or managers um, message Simon Block, um, the head of the Commonwealth, and there's been no medical report. And I'm sure you. Sh- well, is he? Is he pulled out? With, there, there were no announce. There were announcement, and all of a sudden it went quiet for weeks. No tickets, no nothing. And I'm out in Lanzarote training. Then I'm coming back and spine. They get told, "Oh, he's pulled out with, with an injury." At first, it were an arm injury, muscle, muscle injury. Then it were a rib. Then he had fam- family problems, obviously, that's a different matter, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just heard all these rumours, I'm like, well, what's happening here? Then he's saying on Facebook and Twitter, I, I, I've never known about Liam Cameron fighting Santa, but I've seen no contract this Santa, but obviously this line is obviously, of course he has, because he helps fight. Well, you're, you're both in the same town of Sheffield. So, I mean, you're not too far away from one another. It's a local rivalry as well. What does it mean to you also the whole thing about Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday? 
and and being aware of the rivalry between the the reds and the blues what does that mean to you no there's i don't want to bring rivalry to be fair with, with, with so, you know what i mean it's a boxing match let's all come together on the night do you know what i mean let's all come together let's all su support each other support sam support me it's not bring i don't want to bring football and rivalry and stuff like that. it's not it's not not a rival it could it's just that this bell and that's what I want. It's going to kickstart my career. It can have a kickstart or end it, and I'm, I'm picking the kickstart. It. So that's the only way I'm, I'm like being like this. So it's not nothing, nothing personal kind of thing. But okay, fair enough. So um, I still, I still, I'm, I'm like. You went to see Sam fight, and you talked about the eighth round and him being knocked down in the eighth round. I mean, surely you would want him to win the fight, so it would have set up a fight for you. Him losing that fight would have done you any favours, oh, would yeah. it? Oh, yeah. No, I'm on about it. I'm on about it now, like, watching it. Um, it's obviously an advantage in getting it. It was shots and folding. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, when it happened, you, you don't want it. You want him to become world champ. I had no idea. Then I thought Sam were going to win it, but I didn't think he were going to struggle how he did you know what i mean it was a big shock everyone everyone well some people were saying even the, the, the man who interviewed him after for when there were no in it and that's his pal what well, interviewed him wow wow so you're so you're not really you weren't you weren't really impressed with that performance then no but i was impressed with tommy langford one to be fair box he box he box great I, Watched a couple of rounds in Australia. I think he boxed day after. Yeah. Or I think it was day after or day before one of them. Yeah. I was impressed with that. But then again, Tommy Lankin just got knocked out by a five foot three, one of um, Snow White dwarfs. <laughs> so um, you can't really think on that because I asked, is a bit, it must be a bit chinny this Lankin because I. I folded him as well, do you know what I mean, with big gloves, big head guard on. You are some character, Liam Cameron, you really are some character. <laughs> yeah, I'm just telling, I'm just telling truth, that's all I'm doing, I'm not, I'm not making nothing up, I'm not <laughs> telling lies, I swear if she did, but I go to the other end of, the other end of the planet on a 24 hour flight, I'm for my trainer to, and my girlfriend just to, to box like Dunford, same bell, uh, ten times a harder fight. That's news to me. That. So, across social media, the fight's been announced. What's been the general consensus? What have you heard over and over again about yourself and the fight, or Lee, or, or, or Sam's uh, chances in the fight? What have you heard? What's the media said? What have people, what are boxing people fans been saying? People are coming up and telling me all sorts of rumors about. About Sam and that, him not, him not wanting the fight. Him saying, oh, there's other fights out there. Why why this fight? I'm hearing all kinds of rumours. Um, I don't know if they're true. That's another thing, but I'm hearing, I'm hearing them. And in terms of yourself, is there any possibility that you're going to pull out of the fight? Oh, no. No chance. Unless I can't get out of my bed that day. I'm not pulling out. There's not one chance of me pulling out. When, I, when do I, I pulled it out? But oh yeah, that's it as well. I took a fight with Fedor Chudinov, the WBA super champion. That story we heard about that story. With him, what happened with that? Peanuts. I were I were on my front um, with my daughter. There's a massive um, pothole, like a great thing, outside my house as you get out of the car. Yep. My foot went down that and it, it snapped snapped my toe on the, the bottom bit of the toe as well. In half I needed an operation and everything. And that's on medical form. That I still put my shoes on the next day to try to go for a run. And I couldn't even I couldn't even get off steps, so I know I had to pull out. That's the only time I've pulled out. And wow. I'm fighting Feather Chudinov in, in Russia, so why would I avoid Sam? I was boxing him for peanuts as well. How do you fancy your you chance against Chudinov? You give Dennis, give Dennis a um, thing asking me if I've ever, ever, ever dis any name he's put to me. Yes, try to get me. I always want to 
because obviously now I'm, I'm a bit down on rank because I think I'm 12 or something, is it 12? All right. So I'm taking, I want to take any fight to get me back in mix. So I, I, Sam Shida. I was talking to your trainer, Chris Smedley, a while back uh, when uh, I think it was before yeah. Sam actually was fighting for the title that, that night. And he said to me, he was talking about how strong and tough you were and how durable you were. Uh, yeah, a lot of people say that um, can take a shot. Um, people, I've sparred everyone. I've took Callum Smith's best. Do you know what I mean? I've still kept there, still coming, still coming forward. Do you know what I mean? Like, like so, this, oh, that were that were a big shot. Then and I'm like, oh, did they take a big end? It's just I must have got a rock hard head or something. I don't know. I can't. No, I've not fought myself, so I don't know. So in your career, obviously, have... what's let me down in the past is being outworked. That's yeah. what everyone. There's no, there's no lying about it. I'm not going to lie to you. Yep. Just, I just get sometimes I can be outworked. That's it. So that's could where that you be down to. Could that be down to? Could that be down to weight? No, not confident. Out of med weight day before. Do you know what I mean? I'm um, holding myself back. I don't know. I know this time I ain't got that. I ain't got that doubt in me head. So there's no mental demons from you. There's no you're gonna fall apart no. according to Shidi. There's no you're not frail. You're not struggling at the weight. No. no. So I'm I'm in Scotland now, walking about the hotel uh, hotel room like a madman. I ain't come out of it for four days. Um, other than going to gym, I'm sparring David Brother. Um, okay. Also, he's in world, world number four, five with WBO and WBA. He's fighting Rocky Fielding. I've been mean, sparring nearly every day with him. Okay. So, anybody else you're going to bring in sparring for yourself as well, just or just Brophy? No, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up after tomorrow. I've got my last spar, my last eight rounds, whatever it is. Yep. Six eight rounds. Then. Um, I'm gonna get some southpaw, maybe Jamie Cox, um, Frankie Gavin. There ones I'm gonna be approaching. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so in terms of you having to fight Sheedy, um, would you would you say he's a better technical boxer than you, or would you say that you is it, is it strength versus technical skill here, or what you see this I, I fight down? I don't think he didn't win. Never won nothing with amateurs or anything, so I don't, that's your boxing, isn't it? Really, you, okay. You, that's your school of boxing and them um, scoring shots and stuff. So I don't know. I just, I just feel that I'm do. I've had to, I've had to do it a harder way. To be fair, and obviously it, it tells on your record. Do, do you think this is the making of you, Liam? Going through all the hard times you've gone through. I'm hoping, I'm hoping so, yeah, because, do you know, do you know what, like, I just, I want it so bad, it's unbelievable. It's, do you know what I mean? I'm doing everything possible. <laughs> four out of four or five hours on the train up here. I think I'm going to be coming back as well, sparring one of these south poles. But yeah, I just want it so bad, I'm getting everything this far, everything. What does your trainer, Chris Smedley, make of Sam Sheedy, the boxer, and this fight as a matchup? I don't, I don't know. To be fair, um, I just think he's, I think he's just said he's a tricky fighter, kind of like a mess about kind of fighter, trying to throw you. I think that's what he's trying to do, like throw me, make up stuff and say stuff, try to get me. It's, it's not working. I'm not, not bothered. <laughs> You know what I mean? So when was the last time you saw Sam Sheedy face to face? At radio station, and he never said nothing bad. He said he, he's not looking past me. Um, thinks I'm a great fighter. This that and other. Then he's done an interview with you, and like saying 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 stuff. Do you know what I mean? What I've heard. And I'm like, you didn't say that to me, or you didn't say that to. It's at radio station with nothing but praise, and that's that's where it's probably turned a bit. So for you now, is it that interview that's turned your head towards Chidi, or is it just it's always been this way for you? Um, just a, just a bit like wondering. 
it's obviously made stuff up. It, it makes stuff up, fixing it, mate. But if he's actually, he's actually funny. It does, it does make you laugh. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's comical, but he's in my way, and that's that's all what it is. To be fair, um, after the pilot, we'll, we'll have a laugh. Um, but uh, he's in my way. What can I do? What I, what we're gonna do? I'm not gonna talk good about him. Okay. I'm just going to tell you the truth, what I, what I think, and that's, this is the truth. So, what do you think of his setup over at the Sheffield Boxing Unit uh, what, and their team and what they're doing? Do you think that that's going to be key for him to win in the fight? Uh, the training setup, the trainers, yourself, Glyn Rhodes and, 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 and uh, versus uh, uh, your, your trainer, Chris Smedley, does that, are those key points, the two trainers? Does that come into it or is it just down to you and... Uh, I think his feather, feathers are ruffled, to be fair, because I've not heard nothing from Glim Rose. I've heard his, um, heard they've had a little bit of a falling out with Glim screaming in corner and stuff at him. Um, he didn't like it, apparently, put him under too much pressure. And I heard he was moving to Fuki, John Fuchs, whether he has or not. I've seen him training with him. don't know, but it seems a bit, he's a bit ruffled. I don't know what he's doing. But... I'm sparring with a kid, what, as well up here called um, Mick Philbin, is it? Tommy Philbin. Okay. He boxed Carl Wilde, um, he boxed Carl Wilde last, um, she is probably main sparring partner, to be fair, um, what we sparred with all his life, and you just got to watch YouTube and just obviously see levels, what I'm doing, what I'm sparring at. If you could send us some video footage, we'd love to put it up on our channel and, and show the boxing fans um, a little bit more of Liam Cameron and what he's doing quite all right now. Yeah. So, Liam. Uh, obviously, well, I will, well, uh, sorry. You go ahead, Liam. No, no, I was just going to say something about you putting videos up. Or something. No, I said that it'd be great for fans to see what you're doing in terms of your, your training and your preparation for oh, the yeah. fight. Did, listen, this. There's no talent here, no, there's not one bit of talent. It's just pure hard work and that's, that's all it is. Do you think this single-minded, bull-headed sort of approach is what it's going to take to beat Sam Sheedy? Um, I just think me being me and turning up and not being negative like I have with doubt or doing weight, weight wrong and stuff stuff like that and me turning up how can i doubt me someone i've done 100 everything 100 percent right there's going to be no doubt in that ring is there do you think your amateur pedigree is what gives you confidence going into this fight uh, no because that's that's a, as well as what that's long gone as well do you know what i mean it's just it could be just the downfalls what i've had with, with stuff and um, obviously, I've had this, this pull out again with Shida. Um, I've lost my title. I've lost the title twice at Commonwealth. Um, being in being in changing room and it's just been me and my girlfriend, and it's lonely. Do you know what I mean? No one wants to see a loser. That's that, that's top and bottom. Right? No one. You go with loads of people and you come out. Come out empty. We we just your close one around you, and that's that's what it is. It's a lonely sport when you're losing. So I can't have that. I cannot have that, that again. Do you know what I mean? I can't do it. I can't. Unlike when I shut my eyes, I see my little girl. I see, I see my girlfriend. I see my mum and dad. You know, I've got to do it for them. My sponsors, NES, um, GKC, and I've got to do it for all these what have supported me. It's, it's just gonna click on the night. It's, it's just, it's just got to on it. From the outside, people are saying there. Are some people are saying this is a difficult defense for Shidi, and there's a possibility you could be too strong for him. Do, do you know what? To be fair, I take me out to Shidi as well because he could have probably boxed someone like a Brian Rose or a, whoever there is in that division. Probably got more money. Boxed on telly or anything, could it? But it's, yeah. it's took me. Um, but who needs him? Kind of, kind of person. Right. Um, it's 
probably because it's from Sheffield, both from Sheffield, but yeah. it's, 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 a, it's an odd fight, it's, it's in an odd win. When is it really? And what does this mean to you? I mean, you've talked about, you know, you've talked about the dark times, you've talked about, you know, fighting Sam Sheedy, what it means you fighting Sam Sheedy, but becoming Commonwealth champion. What would that mean, having that belt That's around it. your waist? Um, unbelievable. I couldn't, I, can't, I, I couldn't explain to you, could I? It's, it, it's, just, it's just that title, isn't it? Commonwealth champion. I've achieved some finally all the hard work I've put in. Come on, you all these years and I ain't won a title, all the work I've put in. Every, I've spotted everyone. I've fought everyone. I ain't won a title other than ABA British title twice. Do you know what I mean? That, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. If I if I lose this fight and retire, that that's not that can't come true. That can't happen. But why do you put yourself in that sort? Of, you're a young man, Leon. Why put yourself under the sort of pressure to say if I if I don't win this fight, I, I, I'll you know I retire. That's that's a, that's pressure. Because I, I turn pro. I turn pro instead of going to um, instead of going for the gold medal or Olympics. You know what I mean, I'm. Um, I had um, I had the open ticket to go to um, what were it, um, the AIS for England training squad to right. be funded. I turned it down to be pro. Does that mean so it's me losing to Shida. I'm not saying he's a rubbish fighter at the start of it. He's, he's, he's obviously a good fighter. His record's good, um, but I can't lose. If I lose to Shida. What, what's next? What what happens next? What would you say that would happen? Where where do I go? You rebuild. Boxing a, okay. Boxing a ten rounder. Yeah, but hold on. Look at someone like Clinton Woods. He lost and lost, and he yeah. came back. He still went on, and became world champion, didn't he? Yeah, but he, he he won the titles first, then he lost. That that's okay. If, if I won this title, defended, 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 yeah. and lost, it'd be a different story. Steve, Steve, Steve Robinson. Steve Robinson. Going for a title, yeah, losing, but... going for a title, losing. What about Steve Robinson? The That's Cinderella man. He 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 lost so yeah, many fights, yeah. then got a shot a title shot, became world champion, made six defense of the world yeah. title, WBO. I mean yeah, I think the game's changed a bit. You've got to sell tickets. Who's gonna I don't, who's gonna who's gonna wanna watch me really if I if I lose, who's gonna? Oh yeah, I'm boxing this kid. Um, it's a ten rounder. Come and pay eighty pound ringside ticket. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Commonwealth champ again. But okay, it's no look, one's gonna think all right. Thing. Look at this way. If you, if you're in a, a, a complete barn burner with Sheedy, right? Like a Gatty Ward yeah. sort of situation. You can't retire on that. Oh no, yeah. Do you well, know what I'm saying? You've got, you've got a point there. Yes, yeah, so if you're in an absolute, yeah, but I should be, I should be walk, I should be, I should walk through Sheed. Like, right, that's what I wanted to hear you say. That's that's what I want to hear you say because that's what you really think, and you're really saying, look, yeah. if I, I can't beat Sam Sheedy, I think I, I should walk through Sheed and I should outbox Sheed. That's the truth coming out now. Yeah. See now, now you're now you're talking to me on the real, real. That's what I, that's what I think. I just think I should. I think I should. I thought I should walk through him. To be fair. So um, you hold. So yeah, you hold. He's had rib injuries. Apparently, I'm, I'm a great body puncher. I've been up here, Billy Nelson, saying how good body puncher I am. Stephen Simmons, Olympian, saying I've got great body shots. I hope. I hope he did have a rib injury. because <laughs> that's that's it. Game plan as well, going to that body. I'll tell you something. After listening to talking to you today, and for the first time actually really talking to you, you know, yeah. and and hearing your desire and your passion and your real, you know, re, you, you, the last time I heard somebody speak with this sort of passion, there are two people that spoke with this sort of passion. I remember Jonathan Banks with the night before he fought Seth Mitchell, and and people saying, "Our oh, Banks will get smashed," and he went out and he destroyed Seth Mitchell. And then I remember yeah, Fury. My mindset is crazy for this fight. Exactly. There's that mindset. I understand it's crazy. My mindset is just totally changed. 
You're a dangerous man. Totally changed. You're a dangerous man, Liam Cameron. You're a dangerous yeah, man. I'm a, I'm a very, very. This is the worstest time to box me now. This is absolutely the worst time to have to have picked me. So, so I just I don't I don't. To be fair, I, I people have told me not to say much on on this interview because obviously with pull arts and stuff and. Obviously, she had pulled out like before. Do you know what I mean? We heard all sorts of stuff. Why you pulled out and money weren't right, um, all kinds of stuff like that. Why he's pulled out, wanted to leave places and stuff. So I've been told not to say stuff, but I can't hold it back. Do you know what I mean? It's like you say, the desire. I've got to let it out. Unfortunately, unfortunately, when people come on my show. They talk and they talk and they talk and they talk and they yes. talk. But hey, that's a compliment. And I think, you know, um, I've really enjoyed talking to you, Liam Cameron, um, the challenger for the Commonwealth title and in your mind, the new Commonwealth champion. Oh, yes. There can't be nothing else other than the new, in my mind. Now, that's dangerous when you've got to, when you've just got to, but when you've just got that to do, do you know what I mean? So... Got someone running my phone down like crazy about five people. <laughs> I'm not surprised you're talking yeah, you know, to me. I can hear it's yeah, people are probably listening to this interview wherever they are and listening to you talking, and uh, yep. it's certainly gonna. I'm sure it's gonna start a bit of a wildfire in Sheffield when people listen to this afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I probably you might do an interview with, but I've not been horrible or anything. I probably won't listen to it, but I might listen to it after the fight, see what was said and stuff, but. <laughs> Coming up to fight, I won't listen. Why not? I would have thought you'd listen to the to the interview to get yourself even more fired up. Oh no, no, no! I don't need it. I don't need it. More firing up. It's 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 in the belly. And it's um, in the belly. You don't need to be more. And of course, when you guys come face to face, what will be said then when you come face to face? No, to be fair, it's, it's I'll probably, I don't. I think we're going to do a press conference. To be fair, um, so whatever gets choked, I'll spill. I'll spill everything out, mate. Whether people believe it or not, and, um, stuff will come out. So, it, and, like so, I said to you, it, so we could be, we could be in for a very interesting, tasty, animated press conference because I know oh, Sam is. Be, yeah. Sam can talk. Sam can talk. There could be a few left hooks. <laughs> <laughs> there could be a few. There could be a right. There could be a USC match. <laughs> <laughs> Tables <laughs> flying. Because <laughs> they're firing me. I can't. That's, but you've you, seen this side of me. In, in, in all seriousness now, right? And I'm not taking away how you're feeling. Can you contain this feeling that you've got at the moment till... October 13th, or are you peaking well, too soon it, emotionally? I've had it since it were announced, so um, I think another couple of weeks, I should, I should be fine to be fair. Okay. So, yeah. Liam, um, for those people who want to know how to contact you via Twitter and, and, and are now really interested to in know more about you, how do they contact you on Twitter, Liam? It's Liam Cameron 21, and if anyone's for, oh, I'm a bitter or anything, or a bit cheeky or stuff this is just the fight it's just a fight and it, there's no it's not a tickling contest so don't judge me on an on an interview well listen judge me when i'm champion listen sam's had plenty to say about you now you've had plenty to say about sam this fight just got even more tasty that's it tune in so um, you're saying there's going to be a press conference as well. Well, hopefully I can be at that press conference and uh, hear what both of you guys have got to say for one another. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure people at Sheffield are looking forward to the fight. You're looking forward to it. Sam says you're getting it. You're saying Sam's getting it. So we're looking forward to it. Yep, that's the one. Can't wait. Liam Cameron, are you on Facebook, by the way? No, I don't do Facebook. Okay, so you're just on Twitter. Liam Cameron. Yeah, just Twitter. Uh... Do you a final message to your fans before I, I let you go? Just um, keep supporting me. Thanks to my sponsors, NES, G Casino, um, all them what supported me, all my people that bought tickets. What 
to come and spend money to watch me fight, it's, a, it's an honour for me to perform in front of you and, and win this title after all. So keep supporting, give me a message and I'll get back to you. And for those people who want tickets, where do they go? Just message me on Twitter, I'll follow you back, then we'll sort some out. Um, I can send them you or I can drop them off. Okay, so the fight is, let's get it right. 30th of October. 30th of October, Fright Night or Fight Night at uh, the Ponds Arena, or Ponds Forge Arena. What is that, what is that, how do you feel fighting at that arena rather than fighting at the Sheffield United? Um, uh, I'd, I'd, that, it's too small to be fair, that Sheffield United one. Uh, I think they had to change that venue because of, some happened apparently, so I had to change it smaller. That, that would have, right. It's too small, I think it's going to be rammed um, this fight. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Liam, Cameron, thanks a lot for talking to BWTM. Thanks, mate. Take it easy, man. You take all the best, champ. Thanks, bye. Bye-bye. So there you go. That's Liam Cameron, the middleweight Commonwealth challenger. He's up for the fight. He dismissed reports uh, regarding what Sam Sheedy had to say about his weight and him being frail. And he's mentally up for the fight. And he says he's going to walk right through Sam Sheedy. So it's going to be a great fight. We look forward to seeing it. Don't forget, October the 13th, Ponge Forge Leisure Centre in Sheffield. That's a night. Mark it in your diaries for that night. Um, tickets are available at Dennis Hobson's Promotions. Of course, Sam Sheedy and uh, Liam Cameron both on uh, on Twitter as well. And AJ Hobson as well. AJ Hobson Boxing. So that's it. This is me, BWTM, Ingram Jones. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, tomorrow night, we've got the furious one, Peter Fury, in the house, talking about his son's challenge for the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World against Joseph Parker. 10 p.m. right here, BWTM Sports. Take care.